It's Monday the 1st of June and this is your Chelsea news and Chelsea transfer news in a five minute video. Let's get cracking. So first up, Olivier Giroud has been talking to UEFA about the return to training once the restrictions have been lifted, stating that almost all my Chelsea teammates got blisters. He reveals the pains of training. Interesting. He said this, We resume training and it feels really good to be back on the pitch, to, to get to see teammates again and to simply be playing football. I'd really missed it. It's very unusual as we work in groups of five. We needed to maintain a two metre minimum social distance between each other, meaning no contact. We're tested twice a week. We can't access the changing room. We can't shower either, meaning you have to get changed before stepping into your car in order to keep it clean. It's very hot at the moment too, but I'm not complaining about that, but it means we sweat a lot. During lockdown, Chelsea would send us programmes to follow to keep fit. We had exercises to do every day. I'm lucky enough to live right next to a great park and I went there to run almost every day. Towards the end of the period, the whole team video called and we did circuit training. I did it at home in the playroom alongside my children and took a picture of us. It was nice. However, nothing replaces being on the pitch. Almost all my teammates got blisters after resuming training. It's good to hear from Giroud and of course we know that they've stepped up the next phase of their training. They're allowed contact where necessary in training and as the players build to the Premier League return in a couple of weeks time. Now this story has been making headlines and I have to feature it because it's staggering it really is as we all know back in the end of the summer window David Lewis had the impression from Frank Lampard that he wasn't gonna be a regular starter in the team so he demanded to leave and he got his way and Chelsea sold him for 8 million but the actual cost is a lot more than that and it is staggering that Arsenal agreed to pay the deal and there's reports coming out today that he could still remain at Arsenal for next season so Arsenal paid Chelsea 8 million to sign Lewis. There was then 6 million paid to intermediaries involved with Lewis. And then his salary over the course of the season was 10 million pounds. It's absolutely staggering. So the deal didn't just cost them 8 million transfer fee. In total, it was 24 million for a one year deal, which is extraordinary. If you consider where Arsenal are and the fact that they're outside the top four at the minute, outrageous. From a player who left the club to someone who's been linked with a move away. And Williams' agent has said, that to this point, he's not spoken to anybody. Kia Drabchan has said this. William wanted to sign a three-year contract to achieve things he wanted to achieve in the next three years and see where his career takes him from there. Chelsea's policy only allows two years, so that's where the stumbling block was for the over 30. At the moment, he's a Chelsea player and has a contract with Chelsea until the season's over. So it's disrespectful to talk about him moving to other clubs. We have not spoken to Tottenham or any other club. Will Frank Lampard get his way and keep him at Chelsea? We have to wait and see. So to Timo Werner and there's an update. According to the Daily Mail, he is willing to join Chelsea or Man United, but only if Liverpool refuse to play his 49 million RB Leipzig release club. Now this was featured in my bulletins last week. Liverpool are not prepared to pay any more than 30 million because that's what they rate him currently in the current financial market. It was also confirmed that no other Premier League club would be interested in paying 49 million to release him from his contract. I wonder, and I said it last week, with this news, Chelsea just go in and, and pay 49 million and get Werner. He gives you the option as someone that can play wide, tucking in, he can play through the middle. He's going to score your goals no matter where he goes. Sign him. Get it done for 49 million. So to team talk, and here's an interesting name that's been linked with Chelsea all of a sudden the last 48 hours. And it's someone that's been under the radar for a while. Chelsea are now being linked with a move for Ndidi in addition to Real Madrid. Could Ndidi be someone that Real Madrid would target rather than Conte? Let's hope so, because... Between the two, you'd keep Conte at Chelsea all day long. Didi's only 23, so he, di he does give you the option of youth being on his side as he plays through into his prime years of his career. If Chelsea lost N'Golo Conte, Didi would be the one you'd go after, or you'd imagine that we'd go after. Similar style, much taller, much more leggy than Conte. 
<clears throat> but is a good influence in the middle out midfield. I wonder if there's any truth or substance in this report. Chelsea are being linked with Nundidi. That's it from me, Monday the 1st of June. If you like the video, smash the like button for me. Then hit that subscribe button, but also the bell for notifications to make sure you're notified when my videos come out. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments section below. And check out these videos for more content from my channel. See you tomorrow.